Hi, I'm Cameron Snyder, a fourth grade teacher at Patrick Henry Elementary School. Today you'll be taking a look at instructional best practices in mathematics, both at Patrick Henry as well as Thomas Jefferson Middle School. Question. How much for one? One of the strategies that we use in math is a lot of math discourse. Um, we try and engage students in conversations with each other about math so that it's not just a teacher to student relationship, but they're actually engaging in dialogue like they would in the real world. The idea behind the groups is that the kids have a chance to express their ideas and get their ideas out before they might want to share out in front of the whole class, so it's not the first time they're saying their ideas. As a teacher, it tells me a lot about their content understanding and their knowledge of the vocabulary. So if they are talking and not using math vocabulary, that lets me know maybe we need to revisit that. It also helps the students because they can hear each other talking and kind of hear it from a different perspective. You know, a child may be thinking to solve a problem one way, and as they begin to explain it to somebody else at their table, then something will click in their brain, oh, you know what, I need to do this. Um, I really just encourage them to share their ideas, and they realize that the, there's value in what they're saying and that okay. their ideas matter, Ayanna, that it comes back to kind of creating uh, an overall learner and inquirer just versus a student that sits in the class and takes in information. And there's so much that they have that they don't realize that they have. And by me just asking questions or facilitating um, discussions, then it, it gives them more power. At Patrick Henry, we have a lot of students who are English language learners. So by engaging in a lot of math discourse and using the sentence frames and sentence starters that are up around the room, students are able to develop their language skills, not only for math, but general language skills that can help them throughout life. I think oftentimes in co-teaching situations, uh, there's a main teacher and then there's a helper. What um, the co-teaching model here at Jefferson try to do and what we try to do in the math department is Anybody at any time walking into a class would not be able to tell who the main teacher is because the students are refe uh, receiving feedback from both adults in the room. I think the big thing is we both agree that the entire class is both of our classes. It's not you're in charge of one domain. Or we, this is truly a partnership and we work together to teach all the kids. I came in and she had already co-taught with the person before me and we kind of just went with it. I had never co-taught before, so I was sort of following her lead. It develops a level of respect for any adult that comes in that room or any adult that is working with the kids. This has been one of the best experiences because Gina is so open to us working together. That's that's the key is working together and the fact that we both know the content and we're both comfortable with it. I think it goes a long way to making this a successful class.